Hi, everyone. And I know you're all very tired. And I think a lot of OBJ has been um, covered already uh, as other subjects. So let's um, quickly go through what uh, was particular to OBJ. I'll skip the other ones very quickly. So there was a question on, there are two questions on MTP. The first one was, opinion of two doctors is required as per the new amendment act for a period of gestation of what? So we all know that less than 20 weeks, it is one doctor. And 20 to 24 weeks, we require the opinion of two doctors. Again, this is a very commonly asked area. MTP is asked again and again. The other question, which was straight for, I, the, the question was just one line, the minimum age for an MTP is what? And um, uh, since nothing else was mentioned, the safest answer to mark is 18 years. And why 18 years is the safest to ask? Because nothing, so, so if it, it would be better if they had asked consent or they'd use the word legal. But since nothing is mentioned, you'd we all know that 18 years, the woman should be, if she's less than 18, she should have a legal guardian. And it comes under the POXO Act. So the, the, the safest option to ask is 18. Although, yes, there is no lower limit. Because if she has a legal guardian and if the uh, if the indications are met, anyone can get an MTP. Now, the next question, according to modified Rotterdam criteria, what are the criteria for PCOS? And I told you PCOS is a favorite of the INICT uh, exam. And I also told you why. Uh, so uh, PCOS expected Thalitha question. And uh, we know Rotterdam criteria, according to this, there would be delayed menstruation. There would be clinical or biochemical hyperandrogenic features. So two and three is definitely there, plus the polycystic morphology, right? Obesity is not a criteria. Insulin resistance is not a criteria. Okay. The next question was, which of the following does not cause fetal bradycardia? Again, a very straightforward question. Abruption we know causes fetal distress. Fetal distress can present as fetal bradycardia. Fetal head compression causes can cause fetal decelerations. It usually causes early decelerations, but the fetal heart does drop. Meconium aspiration, fetal distress, again, bradycardia. Maternal fever is going to cause tachycardia, and hence it's going to be uh, uh, not, I mean, maternal tachycardia will cause fetal tachycardia. Okay, so I'll just see what's all on the chat box also. Okay, we'll come to each question. Don't worry. Other questions also coming in between. If legal was mentioned, spirey, then definitely 18 years. Otherwise, also safely 18 years, you can easily mark. Next question, the uterine stimulant. This also has already discussed, right? We all know uh, dinoproston, that is PGE2, is used for cervical ripening or induction of labor. It is not used for PPH. The other prostaglandins, mesoprostol and 515-methyl analog of PGF2-alpha. Sorry, this is PGF2-alpha carboprost is used. Okay. Uh, congenital heart failure was an option here. Okay, here. So I think meconium was not there, right? Congenital heart disease or heart block was there. Congenital heart disease. Okay, got it. Okay. Now this is that laparoscopy question which a lot of people are discussing. Uh, what was this? So the question that I got was that this is the laparoscopic image of a patient with infertility and delayed cycles with no tubal block. That means tubal, uh, the dye was, the tubes were patent. What is the probable diagnosis? Now remember, and I think bulky ovaries was mentioned in the question. Bulky ovaries was mentioned and you can see also the ovaries are bulky. Okay, ovarian cyst was, a, was an option. This was not there probably. It was multiple choice. Okay, it was multiple choice. So here the answer is PCOS. Why is it PCOS? Because whenever you have these big, big looking ovaries without a well-defined cyst, both the ovaries are enlarged, there is infertility, there's delayed cycles, this is going to be PCOS. Okay, ovarian cyst was an option. I'm cutting out tube ovarian mass. Piece, piece. This one is an option. Enlarged ovaries were there. They had mentioned normal uterus. Okay, they had mentioned normal uterus and tubes were patent. Okay, fibroid was not there. Okay. Fibroid nahi hai, theek hai. Bulky ovaries, it was bilateral. So this is PCOS and it is a single question. It's not a multiple question. Okay, so this is very clear cut. And again, as I said, PCOS is a favorite of the INI. So um, uh, this, is a this is again uh, quite straightforward. Endometriosis, you'll see chocolate cysts or you'll see the ovaries stuck to the backside of the uterus, kissing ovaries. 
फाइब्रॉइड इज नॉट वेल ओके नॉट इट फाइब्रॉइड नहीं है ठीक है A fifty-year-old patient presents with an ovarian mass with a situs and a mental caking. Ultrasound reveals solid components, and the CA one twenty-five was raised. Okay, <coughs> so what is this? We know it's an ovarian tumor, and the most common tumor to present this way is a serous cyst adenocarcinoma. The CA one twenty-five is going to be raised. Solid components are going to be there. O mental deposits will cause o mental caking, and the situs will be there. Okay. Dice pillage present. Okay, PCOS. He has yes, it is PCOS. PCOS will be there. Okay, why not ovarian cyst? Because that's not how an ovarian cyst looks like. A uh, neat PG. It it is ovarian cyst will be very well defined. You can easily make out both the ovaries uniformly and large will be PCOS. Okay, this was sixty five years. All right. Okay, and this was multi locular. All right. So CA one twenty five is the biggest clue here. A mental caking ascites also are very big clues. So this is serious cystic carcinoma. Now there's a question on. Um, uh, there was a tumor given, and there were uh, the cystopathology uh, given. These are called exner bodies or coffee bean nucleus. One of the thing was given. And they asked which of the statements are true. So this is a granulosa cell tumor. It is a sex cord stromal tumor. Inhibin is increased. CA one twenty five is not increased. And call extra bodies are seen on the histopathology. Was this the question or was it something else? It was an image question. Were both the gross and histopathology given? Coffee bean was given that this was not the, this was not the histo. Okay, so some people did tell me the coffee bean nucleus picture was given. Okay, so coffee bean was given, not collagener. Chandan, elderly people can also have PCOS. It doesn't she doesn't have to be young. PCOS can happen at any age. Okay, okay, this is fine. ठीक है. All right, next question. All are uses of magnesium sulfate except on or I think this was a multiple choice question. It was not except also I think right. So multiple choice question. Remember magnesium sulfate is used for neuro protection of the fetus, and it is also used for prevention of seizures. We give it for both prevention and treatment of eclampsia. Right, it doesn't increase renal perfusion. Right, it in fact has nothing to do with the kidney. Why we look for urine output is because magnesium is excreted through the kidney. So if the kidneys are getting conked off because of preeclampsia, eclampsia, magnesium toxicity will be will happen. That's why we look for urine output. So it is just excreted through the kidneys, nothing else. And there was one more option. What was the last option? I think it was prevention of abruption, but I'm not sure. Was the last option? Prevention of abruption. So, if this was an option, this is also true to some extent. It we don't give it to prevent abruption per se, but yes, studies have found that abruption can be prevented by giving magnesium sulfate. So, this would also be correct. The only wrong one will be increased renal perfusion is wrong. Okay. So, this was an exception valid question, or this was a multiple option correct question. Okay, sorry, there's a bit of a lag. That's why it's taking such some time to see this. Wrong, pucha tha. So it was not multiple choice. Okay, next question. The next question was an asymptomatic twenty-nine year old. I need help in this question also. Twenty-nine pregnant woman presents in the first trimester with urine culture showing E. coli. The most common complication associated with this. So this was a question on asymptomatic. Bacteria, and what I understand is that pyelonephritis was not an option because asymptomatic bacteria. We should note that in twenty five percent of patients, it can cause pyelonephritis. Sorry, it can cause pyelonephritis, and this can lead to the most common complication is preterm. Right, so chorioamnionitis is not there. Okay. It was a single choice question. Okay, all except. Okay, it can cause this. Or this is all except incorrect. So, chorioamnionitis would be the incorrect option then. Okay, E. coli more than ten to the power five. That means significant bacteria. Asymptomatic significant bacteria. 
okay and they had asked the most common co complication they had asked or which is not correct they had asked okay miscarriage was an option okay so the the best answer would be what does it cause it causes preterm labor okay chorioamnionitis is caused when there is prom or pprom right correct so preterm would be the best answer here which of the following is not seen in turner syndrome so this is again a repeat question many people would have discussed this a prominent occiput is not seen nothing came from primary amenorrhea but remember turner's is the most common cause of primary amenorrhea and hence turner's is very commonly asked in the exam HPV strain we've already covered 16, 18, so not spending time here. Most teratogenic drug causing neural tube defect already discussed. This is sodium valproate, not spending further time here. All are examples of aneuploidies except so Bloom syndrome is a mutation. Bloom syndrome is not uh, aneuploidy. Trisomy 21, 13 and Kleinfelters are all aneuploidies. Uh, the next question was arrange in correct sequence. Okay, so some of you had got stuck on this question. Arrange in correct sequence the steps of taking a pap smear. Okay. So remember when we take a pap smear, I don't know if the question was given like this or if the question was given, the four things were given and that you had to put them in order. If it was given like this, remember, first of all, remember when you take a pap smear, okay, a PV is not usually done. In fact, it's never done because if you do a PV, you are contaminating, you're touching the cervix. You don't want anything to contaminate the cervix. So no douching. The patient is not supposed to use any pessary, vaginal pessary. You're not supposed to do a PV. These are the rules when you do a, uh, uh, when you do a uh, patica pap smear. So just to put them in order, it was not like this then. So if you have to put them in order, then you put the patient in lithotomy. Actually, you can put the patient in a dorsal position also. Then put in a speculum, then take the smear, and then you do a PV. Okay, that will complete the examination. So PV is never done before taking the smear. That is the rule that is important to remember. Okay, so it was put in order. And these were the steps, right? Okay, then timing of insertion of IUD for good acceptance. This was multiple choice, correct? This was also fairly easy. Just the language, I think, confused some. A view. <coughs> so immediate postpartum, that is PPIUCD, within 10 minutes you can put. Within 48 hours of delivery, this is early postpartum, again you can put. Within 5 to 7 days of menses, that means postmenstrual. Postmenstrual you can put. And within 5 to 7 days of the next menstrual cycle basically meant premenstrual. Okay, this you will not prefer not to put. Okay, so basically you can put in a property anytime as long as you're reasonably certain the patient is not pregnant. But we usually put it postmenstrual. We prefer not to put it premenstrual because the patient might actually be pregnant. So A, B, and C are the correct options. Okay, which is contraindicated in pregnancy. This was also a question I think radiology will be discussed over, but we all know CT scan has very high ionizing radiation. So this is not used in pregnancy. Ultrasound, MRI, and Doppler can safely be used. So this was from my side, OBG.